Well, hello, it's Arizona Titan 2. A number of you have asked for a video as to what it is like to escape through the escape shaft of the Titan 2 nuclear missile launch control center. So this is the escape shaft. I have it open right now. So I'll take a look down inside here. The tunnel's about four feet across, maybe. I'm going to talk quietly because there's a really bad echo in here. And it's difficult for me to crawl without the camera and keep the camera steady. So I'll do the best I can. So bear with me here. So standing at the bottom, this was full of concrete. I was told the previous owner took six years with a jackhammer trying to chisel this concrete out. This was tough stuff all the way down. You notice towards the bottom, they didn't spend as much time getting it perfect. They just wanted the ladder clear, which works fine for me. So we are going to go ahead. We have a 60 foot climb straight up. Now, I apologize if I start breathing hard on the way up because I don't know if you've ever done a ladder like this, but it takes a lot of arm strength. You can't really use your legs. You gotta use your arms to pull yourself close and I'm doing it one-handed, so here we go. I'll try to keep it steady. It's night outside right now. That makes a cool video, really. down on you. I don't claim to be good at video cameras. Now here we go. Now we're working our way up to the desert. And there we go. We're up on top. So of course the problem is I took the automatic scissor lift down get down into the silo and I crawled out the ladder. So that means my scissor lift is underground. So for me to get the scissor lift back up, we have to go back down the ladder. So we're gonna go ahead and go back down the ladder, return journey. So you've already seen this once. If you wanna end the video, I'll, I don't wanna be boring. 
but I'll try and take it down. two flashlights taped to the GoPro because I did this the other night and my headlamp on my helmet wasn't good enough to light things up so I went down to Walmart and bought a couple of lamps, flashlights and believe it or not in the sporting goods department they lock up all the flashlights now. You have to get somebody with a key to open the flashlights. So I thought was strange, I guess. Maybe they steal them around here. All right, so here's some of the inner workings. So what I did not show you on the way up was on the second level of the command center is an opening. And that's where the air intake is. Well, this big concrete structure right here is supposed to be the air intake. But you see all the chisel marks and jackhammer holes, they gave up. But there is a nice gap up there. It only goes in a few feet, and then it opens up. So this, I decided to leave it because my air intake on the other side is only a six inch or a five inch hole. So this is about the right size. And I don't have to worry about anybody breaking in to this complex from this direction, aside from the fact that all the motion sensors and everything else in the tube here would go off. But this actually is a physical barrier that nobody's gonna get past very easily. So let me get turned back around here, sorry. Almost there. I'm not, sh not sure what these were, but looks like they're encased in concrete and probably will stay that way for a long time. All right, oops, missed a step. All right, we're down on the ground. So I have to transition to go that way. So give me a second. Get my body turned around in here. I hope you enjoyed your uh, journey exiting and entering the launch control center.